It's been one week since the Grizzly Creek fire first shut down I-70 east of Glenwood Springs. Pictures from I-70 show rocks on the interstate, and that was Seattle's concern that rocks would come tumbling down after the fire because the fire had gone through and removed brush that was holding the rocks in place. Grizzly Creek fire has now grown to 25,000 acres with no containment. It's become the White River National Forest's largest wildfire in recorded history. All these fires are putting a strain on firefighters. The person who speaks for the firefighters at the Grizzly Creek fire told Night News reporter Katie Eastman that they do not have the resources to contain the fire. On the seventh day of burning in Glenwood Canyon, the Grizzly Creek fire is still raging. The information officer there says they have 647 firefighters, but that's not enough. He says a lack of crews is part of the reason there is no containment. Nationally, there is competition for firefighters, but the Rocky Mountain Area Coordination Center, known as RMAC, says this region has priority. More crews are on the way to Colorado, but according to RMAC, it's taking longer for firefighters and equipment to get here because the crews are coming from outside of the region. But on Sunday, a bit of good news. Flames eased up just enough to allow crews to start creating fire lines on the ridges. Now they can battle the fire from above and on the ground. Still, I-70 is closed between Glenwood Springs and Gypsum indefinitely. CDOT says there are signs as far as 500 miles away in neighboring states warning drivers, and especially truckers, to take a different route. Katie Eastman, 9 News.